Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays RimWorld 1.0. This isn't like the three other time recording the, this fifth of Juggist, because I had problems with my hard drive filling up, and I just didn't pay attention to it. This is the first time I've ever built this geothermal generator. As you can see, it'll probably help with our power problems. Don't ask me if I know that for sure, though, because I cannot see the future. Bob, how you doing? Maintaining a street lamp. I appreciate your support. You are a valuable member of our colony, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. All right. We need conduits going to this thing. We will eventually get it protected by walls, probably. And, uh, Lockjaw, I like what you're thinking here. I'm going to actually put down a couple of, uh, animal sleeping spots over here, because a lot of our animals don't have places to sleep. And this will solve that problem. Behold, we now have an animal sleeping spot zone kind of thing. Throw this over it. It'll be roofed. Throw some, uh, throw some cut plant orders because you can't build a roof over a palm tree. And that's not going to stop me from trying. Thank you anyway. And I'm thinking maybe this bottom area. We can sow like hay grass down here and let them eat that. Or even just regular grass. I mean, they can eat grass. Seems to be like a nice little pleasant grassy area for our animals to hang out in. Yes, I know power is not overwhelming right now. It's actually quite underwhelming. And I know once again somebody's gonna say, well, turn off the heaters, but I don't first of all, it's actually below the target temperature, which surprises me. I actually did not expect it to be below target temperature. I could consider lowering the target temperature. Now that I know that, slow the target temperature by bring it down to like 15C. There you go. Now it's only taking 18 watts each. Okay, instead of 175. That's so much better than just disabling the heaters, because one, you have to remember to turn it back on, and two, it, it's like 18 power each. Dude. And we only have four heaters in the entire colony. Which means we probably should have some in other areas, but... That's not a lot of power getting taken up. Is that like 64? Trust me, that's not what's popping the grid, okay? It's freaking crematoriums taking up more than that. Anyway, once we have the solar panels up, once we have the geothermal generator up, that won't be a problem anymore. Yeah, I think I like the idea of uh, tilling this all up, turning it into something delicious. Like delicious grass. Isn't that right, Ground Runner? Senpai and Sylvia are on the way home. Taking 1.1 days. This guy's just gonna, just gonna be dead. Sorry. But they also are bringing with them a Crafter 4, which should be pretty great. Or so I believe. Bob, knocking down some soil. Roofs have been planted. Life seems to be good so far. A bridge has been botched, and that actually makes me sad. Like, actually, because I need that bridge area done. Don't do this. Here, someone chopped down all the wood that's in here. I'll give us a little bit more. We have the steel and components to knock out this uh, geothermal generator. That's nothing to worry about. I just realized I got rid of all that lovely grass area in here. Which I actually enjoyed the look of. So... Whoops. And we're just gonna use it to grow more grass. Maybe. I don't know. Manhunter pack of elk. That could be dangerous. 11 elk. That's not too many. That's not too many. Let's uh, pull everyone inside. Grab some people who do the shooties. And then we'll make some people dead. Alright, I think that's everyone who's not non-violent. 
with a gun. Reynold doesn't have a gun, you see. Better watch out. They're planning on moving. Uh, this gate is still... It's held open. Oh, boy. Remus closes... Oh, okay, never mind. It closes itself. Thank goodness we installed those smart gates. I guess. Dismas, go up in the corner. Me, go up in the corner. Everyone else... Remus, actually, you're undrafted. I don't... I don't need any melee for this. I'd like to avoid it, if possible. Oh, no, you are not! Oh, you guys think you're the smart lads, huh? Uh, Remus. Go repair this gate. How did it get through? By what magic formula did it just teleport through the gate? Oh, this is ass. Two of them just went straight through the gate. They ignored the laws of physics. I do not appreciate that in my house. I have two rules. We obey the laws of thermodynamics and we obey the laws of physics. I'm not happy by this predicament. No, no, no. You're still going to go try to repair the gate. And if you fail, you're going to get... Probably destroyed, so, uh... Just hoping you don't fail. Oh, you're gonna fail so hard? Uh, run. <laughs> He's not gonna repair that gate successfully. This is not where I wanted these nine elk to be. But that's okay, we got guns. Yes, we do. We got guns. How about you? Guys, the ones close to you, maybe? I guess we do need Reynold here. Because these guys don't know what they're aiming at. They mostly do blunt damage, so I'm not too worried about the actual effects. I mean, guy lost a thumb, but big whoop. Not too worried about that. Dismiss is going to be okay, though. I'm going to be okay. Again, Gao losing a thumb is not the worst thing in the world. He actually doesn't have any, like, super desire to be good at shooting, so I really don't care. We'll get patched up. We'll kill these elk. We'll replace this bridge, which I still... Or bridge, uh, gate. Which I'm still like, how did this happen? Someone kill this panther when you have a chance, too. Um, and Reynold, you don't need to be drafted anymore. Alright, growing zone. Grow me a river of grass. Hay grass or grass grass? Let's see. 2.5 days to grow provides 1.5 nutrition. That's per square. 0.2 nutrition takes seven days to grow. I mean, grass just seems super efficient in comparison. Especially if I'm just trying to feed animals. Besides, who doesn't want to go, hey, come here and check out my grass farm? First of all, they'll think you're talking about something else, so you're probably going to get a lot of people to check it out. Alright, I can re unrestrict everybody, by the way. Well, that was a dumb raid. I mean, it wasn't really a raid. It was a Manhunter pack, but... Either way. Dude, we officially took these animals out, though. Lynx meat, 132? Thank you, my friends who I forgot were visiting. Like, legit. Forgot. Alright, Dismas. Uh, equip your... Sni I didn't mean for you to drop the animal. I just wanted you to equip your sniper rifle as your primary weapon. But okay, that works, too. I think everyone's gonna be fine. He may he may lack a thumb, but he's not lacking the ability to research. One thumb does not require replacing a whole freaking hand. Uh, Vulpy and Boone have formed a bond. It's pretty great. Where's Boone? There's Boone. Boone's a happy flamel. He just needs to learn some more. Their wildness is higher than I thought. 
All right, Robert rocking up this gate. Still don't have extra power at night. I'm a little disturbed by that. And by at night, I mean during the day. With, we haven't built these generators is what I'm trying to get at. Well, I know plant cutting will pop off in earnest once uh, Senpai and Sylvia are back. So we should get more wood at that point. Now, you know, I could maybe throw some paved tiles over here. And just leave it out over here. I don't know, man. I don't know anymore, okay? Who's going to get this last snipper rifle? I mean, Guile is a good candidate, but now he's missing a thumb. KD's actually a good candidate as well, especially with that plus plus in shooting. I think KD's probably the way to go. They can just, like, practice using the pistol for a while. Yeah. We also have some art. Apparently. Let's go ahead and pick that up. I know you want to grow all the grass, but, uh, sidearm. Beautiful. Let's have some art. Vulpy's Curve. Listen, Damon. It's reputation. Representation. Excuse me, I can say words. Uh, Volpe taming a ground runner in hauling. What's the other one? Pukram's facial hair. <laughs> Dude. Uh, huddled beside a bramble covered in frost. It's getting hypothermia. Yeah, let this be a lesson to everyone not to get too cold. We'll put that right here next to this masterwork table. Everyone will be happy. I guess I'll take this sculpture. There you go, Volpe. There's your curve. Having a good time. Having a good time. Cutting down wood. Not the way I was intending to have that wood be gained, but... I'm not mad. How can I be mad? When things are going so right. Ah, yes. We need to light up that furnace. Good point. Turn it off. Turn it off while there's no prisoners there. Senpai's back. Oh, thank goodness. We have Builder 4, and Craig, and Fran, and a dead emu. Welcome back, everybody. Hello, Remus. How you doing? You're fully healed. I'm happy to hear this. Guile, not quite there yet. Dismas, not quite there yet. I'm fully healed. And we have no alerts or anything to worry about right now. Grass is growing. Probably don't need to uh, have a cut plant order on grass if we're already growing grass, huh? There you go. Seems a little silly. Yeah, it all counts as the same grass. So yeah, every two days that'll grow and animals can eat it. It's an extra source of food, what can I say? That way I can keep them on my freaking crops! Okay, this will probably, like, seriously help my crops. Okay. Let's animals manage areas. Oh, they just share areas now, huh? Okay, cool. I'm just gonna, I don't know, like brown. Uh, that's a good color. Looks at the uh, animal area. Okay, inverts. Now everything's currently animal area, as you can see. It's pretty great. Now, with everything being considered animal area, Stay the hell out of my crops. <laughs> Please. Okay. Yeah, that's not all. That This is all no-go zone. As in, you don't go in this zone where my crops are. Cool. Cool. I can add a little bit more, though. You, you, can, you can go, like, on the road and all that. Just uh, stay away from my food. Probably something I should have done a while ago. But you know what? I didn't. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Do I care if you get food out of the fridge? I mean, not really, but I guess I should probably block it off anyway. Well, no, then I'd be blocking off basically all of their food. We're in a forest. Who cares? They can go right outside the colony and get some food. 
All right, there you go. Uh, animals, animals, areas. Cannibal, get the frick out of my crops. All right, there we go. See, look at that. you can eat grass. You don't even care. All right, now they won't eat our crops, and our crops can grow the way they should. Plus, they can come over here and eat as much grass as they want. Hey, we got one of the solar generators up. That's awesome. Fan freaking tastic. Maybe even perfect. Possibly with a dash of professionalism. Unlike this bridge. Yo, first of all, hello, bulk, bulk goods trader. How you doing? Second of all, where is it? Dude, where's my crafter? Where's my crafter bot? I guess they're still unloading him, probably. That has to be my guess, because it's the only thing that makes sense. Either way, a bulk goods trader has arrived. Senpai, are you still unloading? You're not. Where's my crafter bot? Oh, there it is. Cannibal's got it. Cannibal and... Ma and Michelle. Cool! Yes! Set it up. Right here. It'll craft many a clothing. I'm actually thinking of making a second tailoring bench so that we can get clothing made more quickly. Minor break risk on Dismas, because you're a little hurt. And you're soaking wet and you're in serious pain. I mean, look. I didn't do this to you. On purpose. So, I don't think this marble gate is strong enough anymore. I would like something stronger. I mean, a steel gate would actually be a little weaker. 700 hit points. A titanium gate, which I'm not going to build, but still 2450, would be pretty strong. But I'm thinking it might be about time to consider researching blast doors. Something that's actually strong. Oh, Remus, you're really good at talking. How about you come over here and trade with Klein? They have Yorkies. Not really a fan. They're just, they're just really small. <laughs> Not a fan of really small animals. What can I say? They have uh, 1,400 silver. They have 71 components. Please hit me up with that. Oh, yeah, baby. Nutrient solution. An oily substance extracted from the in solution unit. High is calories and quite easy to store. I mean, that's you're not wrong. That's relatively nutritious. I'm guessing it doesn't taste good. There's got to be a downside. 400 steel. I don't really want it, but I appreciate it. Cloudberries. Dude. They're coming on to me here. Let's sell them some oranges. Sell them some peaches, because we can always harvest more. Sell them some clothing, because we can always harvest more. Can always harvest more pants. Don't worry about it. Yeah, make sure we get rid of the poor and normal clothing as well. What else you got? H1 shield? Ooh. High capacity shield. I mean, that seems sexy. Portable disassembling bench. Everything needed for disassembling the mechanoids that didn't welcome your colonists with much hospitali hospitality during their trap. Huh. That's neat. Cleaner base station. It's a cleaner one. I don't know if we need a cleaner one. I guess it can't hurt. Why not? Give me that H shield as well. Take some freaking shirts and pants. As tribute. Um, You want some corn? I don't know, man. We're a little... Lower on money that I'd want to be for this trade. I really want that H1 or HC1. I want this. Top tier class personal shields. The Mark 1 increases energy capacity by 10. Uh, uh, buy it. I can't. I'm too poor. Sell all of our clothing. Okay. We've sold all of our clothing. I know what you're thinking. 
Not really. I can't see past you, tubby. What are you eating? Our package survived. No, 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 no. Out of the kitchen. Out of the kitchen. All right. Let's see this freaking super shield. Ray Ray. 70, I forgot we got 71 components. That's really awesome. Uh, wear this thing. The shield you're wearing now has 154 capacity. I want to see what the new one has. We can't put the cleaner in there because there's literally no space. Hmm. Where would a cleaner bot go? I guess, I mean, the workshop just seems like the right place. All right, and then somebody haul these in urgently. One thousand, dude. That thing will never break. Remus, you get the new. You get his old shield because you need one too. You freaking running around with a god dang elephant tusk. We need to get you a better weapon. To be honest, I think KD is good at melee too, but KD is also really good at shooting. Should probably make someone a freaking better weapon, but we didn't research. We haven't researched long swords because I'm lazy. Hey, geothermal's up. How you doing? Should probably expand our walls in that case. Also, you know what, senpai? Why don't you come down here? Yakety yak to uh Tomo. Maybe see if you could find Ruka. If you can't, you'll find a quest instead. I'm sure. See who gets that reference. Anyway. We got rice. Yes, we do. We got rice. How about you? It's pretty great. I like where it's going. William, how you doing? You're 18 days old. You look like you look like a living cocoon. That's that's what that's what a globe flamel looks like when it's young. Oh hi, how you doing? Uh let's see. Does it not have time? Offers you, let's see, 72 silver for one of these. Hunter's Lodge, I mean, that was interesting. Harvesting request, trade request, bandit camp. Hell, yeah, bandit camp, I guess. Uh, let's see, Marjol of the uh, Olinar Amalgamation. Guarded by zero enemies? Beta plate armor? Yes, I want this. I don't care where this is. It's got to be guarded by, like, turrets or something. 1.1 days. Dismas, as soon as you're healed, we ride. So heal up soon, my dude. Ambrosia Sprout. Hot diggity. I don't really care. A beta poly armor. Reynold armor protection invincible. Oh, I'm excited. I'm so excited I actually forgot we were mining out titanium and steel down here. Anyway, our animals are now, like, a little bit better taken care of. So are our crops, hopefully, since they won't be eating them all the time. Katie, you are, uh, trying. I'll give you that. Took you a surprisingly long time, though. Maybe we need to upgrade you a bit. Well, I would, but I mean, there's no... There's nothing here that helps with freaking harvesting. Also, turn this off. I didn't realize, but this has power and it doesn't need not need it. So we have a cleaner bot. He's on now. Yep. I mean, you gotta call him Roomba, right? You gotta call a cleaner bot Roomba. What else would you call him? So, is there a reason to have a more efficient cleaning bot? Does it just, like, move faster? Because I'm feeling like a clean bot one is probably more than sufficient for anything. Seems to be running around at the speed of sound. Guile is fully healed. So now we can see what the damage is missing thumb it is, basically. Eight points on manipulation. That's not too bad. 
He's basically as effective as ever. I am inspired. Next art item art or furniture will be two levels higher than normal. Well, too bad I suck at making any of those. Come on, Dismas. Get fully healed. We got we got an adventure to go on. And I think I'm gonna take I'm gonna I think I'm just gonna send Dismas and Reynold. I mean They're really the just the strongest we got. And even though it says there's nobody there, can you really trust them? Can you really trust the owner of amalgamation? Look at these guys, they run around carrying freaking LMGs for trading. Who knows what they're what secrets they're hiding? I don't know. Hey, we got more uh, sleeping spots than we do animals. That's great. Eventually, I'll probably replace some of these with, you know, animal beds. Shield generator research is done. We're going to research large shields next. How are we doing on power? Pretty good. We survived the night with half power. So I'm thinking that means we are probably powered enough to start looking into making shield generators. Put one right here. Shrink it a little bit. We're basically invincible in this corner. Anyway, we don't have to do that right this second. It's just something to consider. I might put shield generators on each corner except this one. And then if they try to sap in, they'll be in for a surprise. Tattered apparel. Your shirt's a little tattered? I mean, don't worry about it. Butchering's getting done. It's pretty great. We are getting moving. I want Dismas. I want Reynold. I want you guys to take, uh, actually take a couple of animals here. Actually, Reynold. We'll take one of you just to carry stuff, but Reynold, you ride. You ride your animal. You ride Cannibal the animal. Point four days. Let's go. Survival meals, take 20. F that 20 works, actually. Take 20. And call me in the morning. Also, take... I don't know, man. Take some coffee beans. Nah. I don't really need to take anything else. Bed rolls, yeah. Couple of bed rolls. That's pretty much it. Alright. See you guys when you get back. Gonna take them half a day. This is not fully healed yet. But he'll probably be fully healed by the time he gets there. 28 out of 30. 35 out of 40 with better tending. That should be okay. Alright, have fun. Not too much fun, though. You can have too much fun if you want. I don't care. See you guys later. Thanks for coming by and giving us a quest for a beta poly freaking plate armor. Which I'm still psyched about. We got chem fuel. Yes, we do. We got chem fuel. How about you? Cleaner bot has nothing to do, apparently. Which is a good thing. Now, there it goes. Now it's going. Cargo pods, huh? What you got for me? <laughs> oh, okay. Chem fuel. Cool. Actually not upset, because we could use some in this generator. We could use some to build more uh, high explosives. And the journey has begun. The journey that will... Do something very interesting. I'm a good storyteller. Anyway. Let's expand. I want to at least expand wide enough to... Put that thing inside of our colony. That'll do it. We'll go like down to here. And we'll go like over to here. And then we'll slap this up here. Just build the wall for now. We'll worry about protection for it later. Or we might just keep a two layers of walls on this side. Who even knows? This side is a little bit more protected thanks to the river. Are you joking me? Is that the same place? No, it's not the same place. It's actually closer than the other one was. Stupid sinkholes. Actively causing sanity loss. I'll give you sanity loss. Alright, when Dismas and Reynold are back from their current journey, they can head there. 
Yeah, these should go up with no problem. Oh, we had to put up some bridge segments? I mean, I guess... I mean, obviously we have to put up bridge segments over here, but... Some of these other areas, I was kind of hoping we could get away without doing that. Oh, well. We got 800 wood now. We should be able to do it. How's it going, Robert? Thank you for getting those done. We can get some better batteries eventually. If we can get a battery that's like three times as good as these, 1800 power, we could do one battery per circuit breaker. And then we could go nuts with power. Presumably. Dismas is fully healed. Told you it wouldn't take like a hot second. And we're so close to the end of this episode, but I want to see... Not this. I don't want to see this. I want to see what I get out of that thing. I'm going to fill this hole eventually. Um, phrasing, but no, no, I'm going to fill that hole. I'm going to fill it hard and fast. You'll see. Probably with dirt, though. Not with whatever you were thinking. Derek was talking to himself about the relationship between culture and authoritarianism. You guys have some interesting things. So I'll give you that. Should probably not store coffee in here. I mean, coffee does count as candy. We don't really need candy in there. Put the vegetable maki in there instead. That's how you, that's how you state that, right? Vegetable maki. Uh. All right. Where does coffee count on here? Sweets, probably. Alright. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Quest completed. There is an outpost here. There's no electricity or anything. There it is. Haul it in. Immediately. 29,000 health?! No, that's 290,000. Oh, my lord. Slows him down by a little bit, but other than that, he's just freaking invincible. Dude, d nobody touches this until Reynold gets back. And then only Reynold touches it. I want to see if there's anything else hidden in here. All right. Some tribal weaponry. What a weird base. And a couple of beds. Huh. Alright, I guess we're done. Don't hurt the spiderlings. Come back home, I guess. Okay, riders are still set. Ah, uh, take the weapons. You might as well. They're not good quality, but they exist. Take the bedrolls, too. I'll take some extra bedrolls any day. Sandbags? Why not? Hold 12 more kilograms of something. Uh, you know what? Marble walls. Take them to build. Take a little bit longer to get back, but that's all right. We got as long as you need, baby. And that is going to be it for this episode of That Plays RimWorld. 1.0. We got beta poly plate armor, and it's actually pretty good. And I'm really excited to just make Reynold go into literally every fight now. If only I had a helmet to match it, he'd be he'd be pretty much invincible. But anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to let me know by giving a like and all that good stuff. And I will see you next time here on That Plays Rim World 1.0. Also, I'll take care of this hole.